So much talk about AI in Davos really dominated so many conversations. You have three different segments. Give us a sense. Where do you see AI having the biggest impact on your business? The biggest impact that we are seeing when it comes to AI is really core in the core of search. And you know, when you think about these large language models, you need to ground them. You need to provide them with real time context on your business. So these generative AI models can actually respond to answers in the context of your business data. And that's really what Elastic does. That's the, the role that we play. But we also see it then enhancing security and observability by making it easier for professionals to take advantage of all the tools that they have, all the data that they have, and then apply AI to get better insights out of it. All right. So you have a product um, that you say, quote unquote, creates relevant AI search and generative AI and helps you build generative AI applications and build custom gen AI without having to build a large lingual, language model from scratch. I'm having a hard time even getting it all the way out. Give us a sense. We hear so much about these LLMs. We hear so much about Gen AI. What does that really mean to create relevant generative AI? So let me give you an example. So imagine that uh, you are a home improvement store um, and you want to build the kind of experience that uh, you know, consumers are now able to get with something like ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT has been trained, and this is true for pretty much every large language model, they have been trained on publicly available information, everything that's out there on the internet. But ChatGPT has no understanding of exactly what you, as a home improvement store, sell in your stores. And specifically, what's the real-time inventory that you have? I'm based in San Francisco, let's say in your San Francisco store. So if you want to provide that experience on your website, when somebody comes to your website and says, hey, I want to build an irrigation system for my backyard, give me your recommendations, you want the recommendations to be contextual. You want it to say, here are the specific items that you need, here's the link, click here, and we'll have it shipped to you in 24 hours. That is what Elastic enables. We allow you to connect your proprietary data in real time to these large language models to get these answers to be relevant to your business. But don't you still need public data? How do you bridge the gap so that you're not building these LLMs from scratch? That's, that's a great question. And we connect that bridge between your proprietary data to the large language models. So when a question gets asked, the way I framed it, that gets sent to both Elastic and to the large language model. And we facilitate that communication. Okay. And then Elastic basically says, well, respond to this question based on this information about my inventory at this point in time. Okay, I, I want to ask you about cybersecurity and AI as well. Cybersecurity is about 25% yeah. of your business. Um, cybersecurity is creating challenges and opportunity when it comes to AI, or excuse me, AI is creating challenges and opportunity. For your company, what are you seeing when it comes to AI and cyber? You know, AI is uh, a great boon for practitioners because it can help you reduce the, the noise and get to the real signals of interest. But at the same time, AI is also unfortunately helping those who are trying to you know, do damage. As an example, as, you know, we've always known that uh, human error is one of the biggest reasons why cybersecurity is a big problem in many organizations. And when you think about phishing attacks, you know, if large language models can create songs uh, in the style of Drake, or they can create <laughs> essays in the style of Shakespeare, how hard would it be for them to create an email to you in the style of your manager? And imagine what that can do in terms of making you more vulnerable to clicking on the wrong links, allowing phishing attacks to go through your system. And that's really where, you know, this is a cat and mouse game and we use AI to help you okay. get better insights, identify these kinds of threats and block them before they really cause any damage within your organization.